Good morning, grade 9. This is Teacher Mark. Our lesson for today is all about neoclassic art. Neoclassic art, neoclassicism, is any several moments in the art, architecture, literature, music that revived from earlier centuries. Neo means new. Age of reason and intellectual movement, ideas of Greece, and Rome were inspiration. So the characteristic of neoclassic is marked by reality, rationality, ethnics, aesthetic, and knowledge. Get away from superstition magic, irrationality, and tyranny of dark age. Enlightenment, framework for American and French revolution, birth of capitalism, socialism, liberalism, and fascism. Arts important way of spreading knowledge, serving state needs. State-created arts academics serve the state needs and ideas, create qualifications, and diplomas propaganda. So the first artist that we need to talk a little about is Mr. Jacques Louis Dad. David, a French neoclassical painter, which is 1748-1825. He was the most accomplished painter and the principal advocate of neoclassic art. I saw that he rejected that light-heartedness of Rococo's school in favor of the austere spirit and other forms of classic art. The themes of most David's work express self-sacrifice and devotion to duty and austerity. So, uh, these are the famous works of Mr. David, the Autoparazzi, the Savine Human, the Anger of Achilles, Mars being, Mars being disarmed by Venus. So all of this, as you may know, uh, if you're looking at in our uh, Greek myth and some of the Roman myths, you can see this uh, kinds of painting, the names of those pen paintings. So next is our list and the last person that we need to talk about is Mr. Jean Auguste Dominic Ingres. His master is the Bing. Gratefully influenced his style as shown in sharp outline, deserved emotion and studied. These characteristics are clearly seen in his last grande Odalisic. Odalis is a French word meaning concubine in harem. Sometimes it's logical and rational. When you say logical and rational, there's a deep meaning inside of the works of being created. Even those a little bit, there is a little facts that inside or hidden on that particular object. So sometimes it's logical. So the famous work that it says is La Grande Odalisque. Some of the people will might say, oh, it is not a rated XPG but as you may see on the, during those time there is a French war during those periods so those people express themselves as a <clears throat> people that enlighten as you can see neoclassic is a new age of prison therefore this period is just a classified for them Next is Jupiter and Tete. So this is the last, uh, I mean, this is not the last painting that he painted. But I think this is uh, one of the famous painted by Ingris, Mr. Ingris, Jupiter and Tete. As you may see, Tete is a girl there and Jup Jupiter is the boy. Therefore, Jupiter, a uh, close with, as you may see, the lower part body of Jupiter, it's kick off something that it says that, that is a rational and a logical immorality that the boy during those time is a higher degree of that time. So it's emphasis for the rational of the Pilipi uh, of the country. So for that, hoping that you might have some information about neoclassic. Thank you and God bless.